It was us. We did this. No. You can't think like that. Whatever came before it was Shinra that pulled the trigger today. Am I right? Fine. Huh? Aerith found her. Aerith? Is that the girl they took? Yeah. That's her. Hmm. What the hell's going on? I asked Aerith to find Marlene and take her somewhere safe. <sighs> and she did? You sure? Hey, where are you going? <sighs> I said, where you going? Aerith's house. It's in the Sector 5 slums. And that's where Marlene is? Where we hope she is. Tell me she is. Give me something to hang on to. Even if she's not, I won't blame you for it, I swear. Who am I kidding? I'd probably try to tear your head off. Hey Tifa, know anything about ancients? I know I've heard of them, at least. They come up in planetology books. Meant to be the original stewards of the planet. Could even commune with it, talk to it and stuff. That must be why the Turks wanted her so badly. Within my veins flows the blood of ancients. This planet is my birthright. <sighs> you have 
failed again, I see. But through suffering, you will grow strong. Isn't that what you want? It's nothing. Let's go. That's the house. Marlene! Marlene! Where's Marlene? Is she here? Barrett. <sighs> Sorry, I'm Barrett. Marlene's my little girl. Uh, uh, Marlene, she's got short hair. She's cute as a button, with the heart of an angel. She was wearing, uh... Pink. She was wearing a She's pink dress today. Upstairs. Huh? Oh. I said she's sleeping. I want to see her too. Come on. Let's go look in on her. Keep it down. Don't wake her. Marlene, my baby, thank God. Shh. Hmm. <laughs> Shinra has my daughter now. I'm sorry. No, I'm the one who asked her to go get Marlene. We'd only just met, but she was so kind and helpful. I... took advantage of her. It's not your fault. It was only a matter of time before she ended up back there. Because she's an ancient. Is that it? So she told you about that? She must trust you all a great deal. Yes, Aerith is an ancient. Probably the last one living. She's not my daughter. Not by blood, I mean. If that's what you were wondering. about 15 years ago. My husband, he'd been shipped off to fight on the front lines. But then I received a letter saying he'd be home for a bit. So when the day came, I went to the station to meet him. But... He didn't come. I couldn't help fearing the worst, even then. But I told myself his leave must have been postponed, that he'd been delayed. Every day I went, to wait and to pray. And that's how I met her, her and her mother. I thought maybe they'd run away from Wall Market, or that they were topsiders fallen on hard times. I'd seen that sort of thing a lot. Take Aerith somewhere safe. Those were her mother's dying words.
My husband had been away for so long, and I was lonely. So I convinced myself the safest place for the girl was with me. It took no time at all for her to start feeling like family. She was a real chatterbox. She told me strange stories, like how she and her mother had escaped from some sort of facility, and how she wasn't sad because her mother had just returned to their planet. Their planet, huh? Yeah, that sounds about right. I didn't understand any of it at the time. When I asked if she meant one in the sky, she said no, this one, right here. I mean, what can you say to that? Mommy, don't be sad. That's what she said to me one day, out of the blue. So I asked her, what's wrong? A man you really, really loved just died. His heart came a long way to say goodbye. But he couldn't stay because he had to return to the planet. I didn't believe her, of course. And then, a few days later, I received a letter saying my husband had been killed in action. Things like that, she'd just know. It was a lot to deal with, but we were happy. <laughs> and then came the knock. Coming! <laughs> no! Go away! <sighs> You know you're not just any little girl. You're a descendant of the ancients. I had no idea what he meant, so I said, who are the ancients? They were the original stewards of the planet, whose boundless knowledge and wisdom shall guide us to the promised land. <clears throat> Some believe the promised land to be a myth, others an allegory of sorts. But we take the words of the scriptures at face value and believe it to be quite real. Which is why Shinra would like very much for Aerith to help You're us- You're wrong! I'm not an ancient! But Aerith, even when you're all alone, don't you hear voices whispering secrets? No, never! <clears throat> but all three of us knew that wasn't true. That man knew exactly who Aerith was, where she'd come from, and what she could do. They knew where she was, but they didn't just take her? Doesn't sound like the Turks I know. She had to come willingly, otherwise it wouldn't work, they said. That's why, even if they did take her away, I'm sure she's still being treated like a guest. And that they'll send her straight back home. Once they get what they need. I doubt it. You're not planning anything, are you? Don't make things worse than they already are. If I lost her too, I don't know if I could... If I could ever... Just don't. Cloud, maybe she's right about this. Maybe they'll let Aerith go when it's all over. Maybe we'd be better off waiting a little while. Let's head back to Sector 7. Got things to take care of. Like checking up on the bar. Yeah. Okay. Oh, 
My God. Just a little more. Come on. Come on. It won't budge. Make room. Mara, you're alive. With me. Ready? And... Great job, guys. Thank you. <laughs> I can't tell you how relieved I am to see you. So, what now? Don't know. Find something, anything to do. Been back to the bar yet? No. Maybe you should go take a look? <sighs> Okay. First the bar, then the rest. Careful. The roads are a mess. Watch your step or you'll wind up in a hole. That's Wedge's cat. What? Let's follow it. if you didn't look like shit. Thank God. Thank you. <sighs> Cloud. Good kitty. I want you to take Wedge back for me. I'm gonna look around for the others. He made it, didn't he? They could still be alive. I saw them both at the pillar. Jesse and Biggs. Saw how bad they were hurt. I'm sorry, but... Don't. They've returned to the planet. They... They were supposed to return to us. If we stop now, they'll never let us live it down. <sighs> so, we carry that weight. I'm sorry. I truly am. 
We had no other place to go, and... I would never leave a wounded man out on the street. <sighs> Elmira, I know what you said, but you have to let us go after Aerith. Not this again. I know these people, and I know they're never gonna let Aerith go. She's the last living ancient on the planet. Think about what that means to Shinra scientists. Especially to that son of a bitch, Hojo. We're all just numbers and meat Enough! to him. But... Please. I need some time to think. You've all had a long day. Why don't you go upstairs and get some rest? Can't sleep? No. You too? I heard footsteps. Sorry. Didn't mean to wake you. I'm a light sleeper. It's a soldier thing. <laughs> that flower you gave me the other night? That was from Aerith, wasn't it? I knew there was something weird going on. You buying flowers? They symbolize reunion, believe it or not. I was curious, so I looked it up. I tried to keep it alive as long as I could. But now, it's dead and buried. <sighs> like the bar. Our home. And everything else. <laughs> they took everything from us again. It's not true. Thank you. You've done more for us than we deserve. I won't forget this. If you ever need anything, all you gotta do is holler. Happy to help out, however I can. <sighs> Elmira. I've been thinking about what you said. She's calling out to me. I can feel it. 
We all can. So please. She's our friend. We have to help her. I always knew it was coming. Knew that one day, I'd have to say goodbye to my baby girl. But not yet. <clears throat> Please, bring her back to me. <clears throat> Daddy! <gasps> Marlene. Are you going? I'm sorry, honey. I wish I didn't have to. I wish I could be with you all the time. I really do. But if I stay here, I can't fight out there. Hmm? <clears throat> Some bad people are trying to hurt the planet. And Daddy, Daddy and his friends are trying to stop those bad people. The slums, your friends, the whole planet. It's Daddy's job to protect it. Hmm? <sighs> and that's why I've got to go. You remember that nice girl who came to find you? Well, now we have to go find her. And when we bring her home, you need to say thank you, okay? Okay. That girl, she was kind of... <sighs> what? Nothing. You should help her. We will. <gasps> You'll come back, right? Of course, I promise. Okay, you can go. Barrett. <clears throat> She's tougher than me. Alright, time to get some payback. Don't forget why we're doing this. I know, I know. To rescue Aerith. So after bombing reactors 1 and 5, what do the eco-terrorists do? They go for the trifecta and take out Mako Reactor 7! Another attack by amateurs who don't care about collateral damage! The sky is falling and Avalanche is to blame. But wait! Did you know Wutai is the one funding their activities? For all their claims about fighting for the slums, they're nothing more than pawns of Wutai, puppets dancing to the tune of their foreign masters. And that's the truth. Topside news delivered straight to your ears. That'll be five gil. Five gil, come on. Damn, man. Knew we couldn't trust Wutai to leave us alone. It's the reactors. They want them, we got them. Does this mean there'll what? be another war? After what they've done, what choice do we have? Five gil apiece. Cough it up. The truth ain't free, you know. <sighs> we ain't no damn pawns of Wu-Tai! I couldn't care less about the rest, but that shit? <clears throat> no one will listen to us. There's no point in even trying. I'm sorry. Hey. Hey, Tifa, listen. There's no room in this for regrets or what-ifs or any of that. All we can do is keep moving forward, keep following this path we chose. Wherever, so we can say we did all we could. I know. But right now, instead of looking forward, you need to look around. Everyone here is terrified. So I'm asking you, don't.
pretty high. Excited? Oh yeah. Glad someone is. Hmm. Aerith's up there, waiting for us. Then we best get a move on, huh? Ready? some Shinra ass and save the planet. Goal two, save the girl while kicking Mo Shinra ass and get out. Copy. You gotta be careful. No telling what's gonna collapse or when. Bobby, where did Daddy go? Don't worry, sweetie. Everything will be okay. Are you hurt? Can you stand? See what I mean? You haven't seen my mother, have you? Damn it. I can't. So that's where we have to climb? What if it comes apart while we're up there? Ah! We've made it through worse, you know. Yeah, no kidding. It's a miracle we haven't been killed a dozen times over by now. Cloud. Help too, won't you? For a price. Everybody's warmed up. <laughs> 